What we're trying to do with our players is when they leave this program, they're ready for anything, whether it's hockey, life, work. We're not the only ones that are trying to accomplish that. I think uh, the whole BCHL is trying to accomplish that, and everyone puts their own spin on it. I just know we do a good job of it. Players that are coming to Centennials, you know, the first thing that we look for, uh, you know, good people. We try not to have a lot of uh, new faces come in and go throughout a year. Um, we want to make sure we're, we're picking the right guys, the right families um, that are going to fit all our culture here and what we're trying to do. After that, you know, when you're talking about how they play, you know, talking about how our league can play and where our league's going and what we're trying to do. We're trying to play, move players on to college and the National Hockey League after that. So um, our players here that, uh, you know, the biggest thing is skating. You want to get up and down the sheet as quick as possible. Um, I think regardless of size, skating is the number one thing in our league. Um, outside of skating, you know, skill is a big thing. Uh, I think skill uh, can be defined in many ways. Um, we like what we call hard skill. Um, everything we do, we, we believe, is, is pretty difficult and pretty difficult in how we play. We're very fast in how we play, so um, skating, skill, and you know, brains, again, brains can be measured in many different ways, but uh, um, all aspects, I believe, uh, you know, those three tangible things are very important to what we do and very important to how we play. It. The, the biggest one of all is the compete and, and how hard you work and that doesn't just go on the rink, it goes back to uh, training at Planet Fitness and it goes into our everyday thing. For me the biggest thing is, you know, Ty Wowchuk and Planet Fitness. Uh, Ty is our strength and conditioning coach and obviously our medical person here at Games. but. Uh, um, they have access to Planet Fitness, you know, all the time. Uh, we all have, obviously have our structured workouts, but guys can go back for even more, and they often do. Um, you know, they're the uh, the owner of the gym is, is a friend and also a, a good community uh, person, and has a community thoughts in mind. And so the Centennials there, um, you know, they have access to the gym, like I said, anytime they want. Um, and there's a it's quite a big gym, I would say, for our community. Um, and the times that they do go as a team, it's uh, basically their gym. So it's uh, it's almost like it's a part of the rink. It's not, but it's it's almost like it is, and it's a team-run facility. And and it's nice that it is that way. They've got our team colors in there. They've got some logos, um, and obviously it's a you know it's a community-run team. So a lot of the people in there are season ticket holders. A lot of the people in there know a lot about the Centennials and and Ty's there working with the guys every day. So it's quite special. They get to, um, Ty designs all of their, all of their programs and helps these guys, uh, you know, stay healthy, but also grow for the future. A player that's coming from, uh, you know, anywhere outside, I think the province really, that uh, maybe hasn't been through Merritt. Obviously, you know, Merritt exists and, uh, you know, on some pretty busy uh, highways, uh, people that are heading down to Vancouver or up from Vancouver into the interior of BC to some beautiful country. Um, they often have been through merit, whether it's for hockey or unrelated things. It's a unique place to call home, a nice place to call home, but I think the, the feedback always from, from players uh, or from parents or fans that are coming here is um, they can't believe uh, just the views, they can't believe the, the drive that we get to do all the time. Uh, can't believe the lakes, the mountains, um, and how much space there is here.